It is called the Journey for Justice. Protesters with the NAACP are marching 125 miles from Ferguson, Missouri to Jefferson City. They're calling for an end to what they say are senseless deaths at the hands of police officers. Tonight, North Carolina's NAACP made a bold move in light of that march. Local activists hand-delivered letters to state and city leaders right here in Asheville calling for major change. News 13's Kimberly King tells us what the letter says. This is the letter from the NAACP addressed to Governor McCrory, senators, and state house reps to express our discontent with the current state of law enforcement demanding change. Those changes include recommendations to appoint special prosecutors not politically connected to local departments to handle police shooting challenges, require mandatory training on race bias, and universal use of dash cams in police cars. Incoming state rep Brian Turner reacted. When I look at the list of uh, recommendations that the NAACP has outlined. Um, several of these are already being implemented by our law enforcement agencies here in Buncombe County in the Western region. Um, Sheriff Ben Duncan has started the use of body cameras. Uh, UNC Asheville's uh, public safety uh, started uh, body using body cameras a little over a year ago, I think it is. While he knows tensions are high elsewhere. In Asheville and Buncombe County, we don't have some of the same challenges or at the level that we've seen uh, in Ferguson or even as they've outlined here, um, the Charlotte-Mecklenburg area. The letter references a former A&M football player shot multiple times and killed by a Charlotte officer while he allegedly sought help after a car accident. NAACP Asheville President John Hayes, who hosts a radio talk show, hand-delivered the letter to leaders today. We will be meeting and strategizing how we can work together to implement everything that is laid out by the state. John Hayes came down here to City Hall at 2 p.m. today to deliver this letter to Gary Jackson, the city manager. He says he spoke with him for a half an hour. The two, he said, had a good meeting, and they've already rescheduled another meeting that will include clergy and community leaders. Hayes also feels something needs to be done to better recruit black officers. There should be a cadet program at the fire department. There should be a cadet program for young inner city kids at the uh, police department. And tonight, Mayor Esther Manheimer responded saying the NAACP wants to make sure the city's training officers with the entire community in mind, and I agree. Asheville isn't about one group versus another, but we as a city, as a diverse community, must always be proactive to keep the dialogue going, to keep learning about one another.